So for those that know me in real life or who follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I watch a lot of TV. Most of it is American TV and this time of the year, lots of shows restart. You call it the fall season, we call it autumn, but you know, we use the seasons properly. When I say I watch a lot of TV, I mean off the top of my head I watch Big Bang Theory, Blue Mountain State, Castle, Game of Thrones, Glee, House, How I Met Your Mother, Modern Family, Supernatural, The League, Vampire Diaries, The Office, to name one or two. I've missed out some, I think. So every year they cancel some shows, they renew some shows, and they make new ones. So I pick my new TV shows kind of loosely based on their genre or who's starring them who wrote them, and recommendations by friends. This year, I watched five new shows. I watched The Secret Circle, uh, written by LJ Smith, who's an author I like as a child. She used to write The Vampire Diaries. I know they're both very teen emo -y. I don't care. It had lots of people from other TV shows that have been cancelled in it. Like it had like, the mum from Heroes and the daughter from Life Unexpected. And it had John Connor in it who was also in Heroes, and that's just about witches. It does occur to me now that I watch Vampire Diaries, Teen Wolf and Secret Circle, so I've got all my Supernatural bases covered. Except of course for Haunted House Horror. I know, I'll get it from American Horror Story. That's right, they actually brought out a TV series this year, which is basically Amateurville Horror in a TV series. Now episode one, and they're all already seeing things, people have already died, and I don't know how they're going to make this last the season. Like, their daughter is like 15 and she smokes and they're okay with that. And she made the decision to buy the house and then complained about her afterwards. One of the best things about American Horror Story for me was when the next door neighbor's daughter breaks in and the mum's like, oh, she always finds a way in here. How mental is that? You're always going to have to worry about the next door neighbor's kid breaking into your house. Straight away, I would have moved. And there's this weird subplot going on where the dad slept with someone, no one trusts him or something. Now one show that I did watch and did not enjoy was Two Broke Girls. Now I admit, when I was downloading it, I wasn't sure if it was going to get porn or comedy. Because let's face it, that title, it had Kat Dennings, who has been in a few films and was in Thor. And some blonde, dippy person who isn't at all famous. And it was really strange, it was like they're trying to get all the sassiness of Juno and balanced off with someone who had the sense of a rocking horse and I was bored. It changed when I was downloading it from oh my god I hope this is a comedy and not porn to halfway through thinking Jesus Christ this would be better if it was porn. At least that would explain the terrible plot and the bad bad acting. Safe to say, won't be watching that one again. I mean a lot of TV shows ideas are just weird anyway. There's a TV show starting soon which expects me to believe that so additional, can't get men. Now, I don't know who they're trying to kid. What kind of TV show sells itself on the fact that she can't get a man to date? Behave yourselves. Finally, one of the best TV shows I've started watching is called Person of Interest. Now, I only downloaded it because J.J. Abrams had something to do with it and I just thought, well, it's probably going to be all right with a sci-fi twist somewhere on the line that's going to be a bit confusing. Sure enough, first episode, sci-fi twist. A computer that can predict people involved in violent crime. Brilliant. I had Ben from Lost and some guy who I didn't recognise. It quickly became clear they cast this guy to be a mix between Bourne, Bauer and Batman. Fucking amazing. He just kicked uh, all kinds of bad guy all over the screen. And he was really fucking cool. Uh, such a good TV show. If you only watch one new TV show this year, make it person of interest because the plot's quite good, the sci-fi is a bit mysterious and the main character is just wicked. There was another TV show I watched which I can't quite remember which means somewhere out there there is a TV show so bad I've forgotten it. My mind has erased this experience from my head. Worrying. So, goodbye for now. It's been legend. Wait for it.